Hello everyone, it's medical stuff and we are going to study Mendelian disorder. As in my previous video, I have explained that those disorders which include single gene mutation and follow Mendel's law are called as Mendelian disorders. Now these disorders can be of three types, autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive and X-linked. Autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive as the name depicts, they are, uh, there is some mutation on the autosomes and there is mutation on the sex chromosome and we know we have 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. Now, we are going to study autosomal mutations. Now, autosomal mutations can express partially as well as completely. If there is some heterozygous condition, like the mutant gene has hetero, is heterozygous, then there will be partial expression of that trait. And example here is sickle cell trait. And if that mutant gene is homozygous like the situation is this or this then there will be complete expression of that uh, that trait with uh, an example uh, here is sickle cell anemia what happens in sickle cell anemia in sickle cell anemia basically there is substitution of hemoglobin s by hemoglobin a when a individual is homozygous for the mutant gene then uh, all the hemoglobin of the abnormal will be of type uh, hemoglobin S and if uh, disorder will express completely and if the individual is heterozygous for that condition then uh, uh, then some proportion of uh, hemoglobin will be of type hemoglobin S and other uh, and other remaining will be of hemoglobin type hemoglobin A which is normal so in this uh, uh, there is heterozygous condition so that's why there is partial expression of uh, that trait that is known as sickle cell trait and um, now we have to study these two, uh, two terms, pleiotropism and genetic heterogeneity. Uh, in pleiotropism, it means pleiotropy, what is the phenomenon of pleiotropy? In which only a single gene controls many phenotypic effects. So pleiotropism is a phenomena in which there is mutation on a single gene, but it can lead to the multiple phenotypic effect. There can be multiple phenotypic effects and sickle cell anemia is again the example of pleiotropism like there is single cell gene mutation but there are many effects like there will be the lysis of RBCs as well as there will be subclinic fibrosis, organ infarcts and bone changes etc in sickle cell anemia. Now what is genetic heterogeneity in which mutations are present at multiple genes at multiple loci at several loci but there is manifestation of a single clinical disorder that is called as genetic heterogeneity. So basically these two are opposite to each other. In the genetic heterogeneity, there is an example of tuberous sclerosis in which the mutation can either be at chromosome number 12 or chromosome number 16. And another example for this genetic heterogeneity is profound childhood, uh, childhood deafness. The example here I have written is tuberous sclerosis in which there can be uh, abnormality at either chromosome number 12 or 16 or at both which can lead to this condition tuberous sclerosis. So this was all about the Mendelian disorder. Now in next video we will study autosomal dominant uh, disorders in detail and then autosomal recessive and then X-linked. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.